what accounts for 10% of global emissions of methane. It's not belching cows or landfills, but rice. Scientists say if the world wants to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, the staple crop cannot be ignored. Farmer Dong Van Khan has joined a scheme to recycle straw from his fields instead of burning it. As we develop organic fertilizer, the pollution will reduce and we can benefit from it. In the past, we just burned straw and made no use of it. The pollution was very high. Methane is generated by bacteria that grow in flooded rice paddies and thrive if the leftover straw rots. Over time, methane traps about 80 times as much heat as carbon dioxide. So rice, um, which sets them apart from other crops, has a standing water layer in the field, which means there's no exchange of air between the soil and the atmosphere. So that means you have in the soil anaerobic conditions. And that means there are different bacteria active in the soil than you would find in wheat or maize. As part of an initiative by the International Rice Research Institute, Khan now removes the straw from his fields and turns it into other products, earning a small income on the side. We can sell the straw for money. Then we can grow mushrooms and earn money from it. We can even buy the waste from mushroom plantations to turn it into organic fertilizer. Under the Global Methane Pledge, Vietnam and several other major rice producers in Asia have vowed to cut emissions by 30% between 2020 and 2030. But the two largest producers, China and India, failed to sign. And while Mekong farmers like Khan have taken a step towards more sustainable farming, for now he is part of a small minority.